It's not easy having one of the most safest, most reliable, most private computers on the planet. Like literally, any computer in the world could probably just be slower than it should be. There are many reasons as to why a computer can be slow. Usually it's old software, old hardware, but one main contributor as to why your computer might be so slow is not because of old drivers or hardware, but it's because of one thing. Computer viruses. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what is a computer virus and a bunch of different famous viruses that you probably have heard of and ways to defeat the viruses. Come on, let's go inside and let me show you. All right, let's go to my secret bunker. Down here, right here. All right, open this. Here it is. The virus stopping room, I guess. <laughs> All right, now that we're in my room, let's find out. What really is a computer virus? Well, essentially, a computer virus is part of malware, which is some form of malicious code that is executed without a consumer's permission. But a computer virus is a type of malware that is spread through files, email, documents, etc. And viruses can be dangerous. Some of them might only damage a few files. Others could prevent your system from booting and you'd have to reinstall everything. And there are many other types of malware that are similar to viruses. <laughs> Now let's talk the Trojan horse. A Trojan looks like a completely normal app, but in reality, it's a disguise to hide the fact that it's actually a very malicious app with malicious code that doesn't destroy your computer, but it risks your overall online security and restricts your access to certain internet services like Google, Netflix, etc. They could steal passwords from your internet browser and even hack YouTube channels. I've seen that happen to many YouTubers before. Even Linus <laughs> got affected. Even big YouTubers can get affected by stuff like this. Now spyware. This is similar to a Trojan, but not as effective when it comes to stealing your information. They're looking at your stuff and stalking you rather than logging into your accounts. They don't care about logging into your accounts, but they can see everything you're doing and possibly share it with others. And I'd like to mention that there is a software infamous for doing all of these things that I just mentioned. We'll get to that in a second, don't worry. <laughs> a much more lighter type of malware that I'd like to mention. It's actually under the grayware section. It's called adware. Basically, adware promotes normal looking applications, but trust me, they might have some sort of malicious code embedded into them, and they're trying to force you to install it by putting tons of ads and unwanted stuff over your screen while you're doing an important work session on Microsoft Word. It's crazy. All right, now let's talk about some popular computer viruses that'll make your computer go. So there was this worm in year 2000 called I love you, no spaces, all caps. I love you. It was a worm that was attached to an email in Microsoft Outlook and was sent massively to almost every single email within the Microsoft email directories and would affect users of Windows 2000, Windows ME. <laughs> In 2016, a programmer named Lorak created a Trojan horse for Danicot 1's viewer-made malware series on YouTube. The Trojan was called MEMS, spelled M-E-M-Z in all caps. So basically, this Trojan searches random things on Google, makes annoying error sounds, makes weird visual effects, and basically makes your computer unusable after you reboot. This next one's crazy. WannaCry is a crypto worm that locks up your computer, encrypts all of your files, and asks for endless amounts of ransom payments in cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin. And I know most people don't have Bitcoin right now. But let me tell you, this worm affected 300,000 computers in over 150 countries and caused the world to lose over 4 million US dollary dues. And if you think that's bad, just wait till we get to the next one. You probably don't even need to be an expert at cybersecurity if you know what this next one is. Bonzi Buddy was a virtual assistant from the 2000s that looked very harmless, but there were some flaws that apparently made it adware and spyware because the company behind it had access to all of the personal information that was put into the Bonzi Buddy program. Yes. The program asked for your personal information. And at that time, when a third party application asked for your personal information, barely anyone could trust it at first. After people found out that this personal information was not secured within the company, the company behind the program basically yeah, faced so many yeah, lawsuits yeah, they had to shut down yeah. the program. Alright, now let's get to the big part of this video. 
How do you stop viruses? Well, actually, there are tons of options like Avast, Norton, McAfee, all that stuff. Even the one that became a meme. And even Windows 11 comes with its own security software called Microsoft Defender. And the best part? It's built in and free. And it stops a program from running when it detects a virus before it even gets a chance to run. Or before you even get a chance to accidentally click on it. I tell you, Microsoft's smart these days. If that's not your best option, there are a lot of options, but some of them required a subscription. You might not get full protection unless you pay a certain amount, but hey, at least the subscription's safe. I came in like the cool. This video took way too long to make, way too long to edit, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and hope this helps. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm. And until next time, I'm Kander Robertson. Subscribe today.